Hello Aquarius, Amy Energy here with your weekly tarot message. If you have not, please subscribe to the channel, hit the bell to be notified whenever I make a new video. All right, working with the Dreams of Gaia deck, pulling out for our career, love life and personal. Keep in mind this reading will not resonate for every Aquarius out there, so feel free to check out any of my other readings or book a personal. I would love to connect with you. Okay, before we jump into career here, I just want to ask you Aquarius to please hit that thumbs up button because, you know, it really makes my day and I really appreciate it. Um, so I hope that's enough incentive for you. And um, yeah, let's get into career here. Clarifying with the Rider Waite Smith deck. All right, we got the Ace of Water coming out. Beautiful energy here. All right, Aquarius, in our career, I definitely feel like we are full of hope, okay? There is a new opportunity here, and it's for self-love here with the Ace of Cups, okay? So I love that coming up in career. Four of Wands coming out, okay. Oh, and the Emperor. So I feel like Aquarius, we're really taking some time to really invest in ourselves, you know, to really show ourself love here. Okay, because with the Four of Wands, I feel like we're really trying to get this stable foundation, right? So we're going for the Four so that we can be very stable. And with the Wands, I feel like, you know, we want to be stable and in this harmonious space so that we can be inspired and to be creative and with the emperor you know I feel like we do have big goals and big visions so we're taking some time to really you know work on our inspiration so that's really beautiful okay um with the emperor wow this is just the builder right we're building something in our world and it's gonna be amazing Okay, wow, yes, the King of Wands and the Ace of Swords also coming out here. So Aquarius, we definitely are someone who's really taking charge of our life. Okay, I love this. This is really, really exciting energy. Okay, and so I just want to say that's so beautiful here with the Ace of Water and the Four of Wands just having ourselves in this space where we're really able to develop, fully develop our vision. And, you know, with the King of Wands here, I feel like our vision is, you know, it's not the same as everybody else, right? The King of Wands is very unique, okay? With the Ace of Swords, I do feel like, you know, we're we're getting a real clarity here just by giving ourselves this love and you know compassion just showing ourselves kindness and compassion is really allowing us the space to have you know some really great ideas here with the ace of swords okay really loving that energy let's move into love life here Okay, we have the energy of choice coming out. Okay, so this is like a really big energy. It's the first card in the Dreams of Gaia deck. And, you know, it's choice. It's all about choice and the consequences of the choices that we make. Okay, so... Clarifying with the Six of Wands and the Eight of Wands. So I feel like, you know, we do have to choose to be victorious here. If we want something to happen in our love life, 
we need to take action here, direct action with the Eight of Wands, okay? Further clarifying here, Spirit. You have Three of Swords and the Page of Wands, okay? Yeah, I feel like we really have to put ourselves out there. I do feel like that could be a little bit difficult for us with the Three of Swords, okay? Um, but I do feel like it is time, right? Because I feel like we have, we do have an understanding right now of what we want. We've gotten ourselves to a place where, you know, it is, it's safe for us to move forward. It's safe for us to put ourselves out there. And, you know, with the Page of Wands, maybe we're just making a dating profile um, and just putting ourselves out there, okay? I feel like it is, it is a struggle here it's with this Three of Swords, but I feel like with the Choice card, I mean, even if you just look at this card, you know, we're making the choice between whether we want to be crying or we want to be in this, you know, more peaceful energy. So, you know, our choices impact our life. And right now, the cards are really saying to act, to put yourself out there. And, you know, it's, it's actually really beautiful here. A lot of wands, okay? So don't let don't let any like fear of betrayal or hurt from the past you know affect your ability to be optimistic in love okay cuz i do feel like you're you're getting a victory over this broken heart you you really are all you have to do is take it all right so now Moving into personal, we have the King of Air coming out. All right, beautiful energy for you, Aquarius. We love the King of Air. All right, clarifying with the Queen of Wands and the King of Cups. Okay, wow, okay. So I feel like there's a lot going on in your life right now, Aquarius. You know, there's a lot of people around you coming up in your reading, okay? Tell me more about this Queen of Wands, please, Spirit. Okay. Interesting. So, uh, this Queen of Wands here, this could be someone who really helps us balance out our life, right? This is someone who's really confident. They could be really like good in business. Okay, like starting your own business, women-owned business. Um, it doesn't have to be no gender, no gender with, um, with anything, with any of these cards, no gender. Um, but I do feel like there's someone here who can really help us, balance us out. They might, maybe they just know how to file paperwork for something, okay? But I definitely see us getting help from someone to move forward in some way here, okay, with the King of Cups spirit. Why is the King of Cups here? Oh, God bless me. Okay, so the King of Cups is coming out with the Nine of Swords here. So definitely, Aquarius, I am feeling like, you know, we're in control of our emotions, but we're, we're certainly not in control of our anxieties here. Okay, so... I do feel like that, um, you know, we had the Eight of Cups also on the bottom of the deck. So I feel like there could have been recently a change in our life. Big change. Of course, you know, we did have the Ace here. And then we have the Choice card. So all of these are indicating, oh my gosh, and there's the 
Ace of Pentacles, okay? So we're in a moment of change. And I do feel like, you know, this is a moment where we are having to sit with ourselves, okay? Take a take full advantage of this situation, okay? Because this is the moment that society wants us to ignore. They do not want us to take the time to process our emotions, to really reevaluate why we're feeling the way we're feeling. You know, they don't have time for that. They want us to get back to work, right? But I feel like you really need to take this time. So with the Justice card, you know, look into any services that are available to you that would allow you to take this time that you need. Okay, that's what I'm really feeling. And I feel like there is someone around you that can help you with this. With this Queen of Wands, I feel like there's someone around who can guide you and sort of be like a mentor for you. Okay. Let's get a Moonology card, please. Angels, Ancestors, and Spirit Guides. One Moonology card for Aquarius, please. Show the world the real you. Absolutely. Step out of your comfort zone. Wow. Beautiful messages, Aquarius. Beautiful. 